welcome back. So we're in the Cairngorms today. We were supposed to start this trip three days ago, um, but we'll get onto that in a bit. I just thought uh, I'd say hello and show you the views, tell you who I'm with. So I'm with my wife, so I'll let her say hello. Hi. And now uh, just show you the views. You should be able to see that. Obviously there's still uh, snow on the top of the mountains, so it's pretty good. We're uh, heading up there now. Um, we're heading for a body. I don't know if we'll get in the body or not. It's just a short one today just to uh, see how we are. So we'll either get in the bobby or we'll pitch up outside. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be a great night, whatever. We're in Scotland. What's, what's not to love? Stood there in amongst all these with clothes on, he's naked. <laughs> nice path so far, but again, it's Scotland. What do you expect? About to be visited by some ducks.
and it's time for another shout out. We do these typically when we're wild camping. Not so much in the woods because it's a bit boring. You walk into a woods, you set up, you eat food, you walk out. Uh, so we like to keep the shout outs for special occasions and this one has been the longest request but I've made them wait. So this shout out is to, I'll show you a picture, Georgina and Tom. So Georgina's my daughter, Tom's now my ginger son-in-law. Um, I never thought I'd inherit a ginger but such is life. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Georgina and Tom. Hope you enjoy the video in Scotland. On a small body. I don't know if uh, anybody's going to be in it or not, but we'll have a look when we get there and see if we can show you around. Anybody who's been to Cairngorms will probably know of it anyway. Um, but it's fun for us to go and explore, so bring you back when we get inside. So, inside the body, a couple of chairs, yeah, very cool, left nice and clean, gas book, a uh, few gas canisters, so, and some cement, bizarrely, <laughs> they are doing some work outside there, they're putting new paths down and things, so I assume it's probably for that, just to keep it dry. We've set up in the bobby for the night, got the mattresses up and used the uh, footprint for the tent to put on the base just to protect the mattress a little bit. So yeah, just sit and wait for bedtime now. Um, have some whiskey later. I was going to tell you what's, uh, what's gone wrong with our trip. So yeah, let me flip the camera around and uh, we'll have a chat. This trip was supposed to be starting uh, Rannockmore and going around Ben Alder and then we were going to go to Noydart for three or four days. Um, so on the way up to Scotland we stopped at Gretna Green, that's where we got married, to have a night there and just break up the journey and we both got up with flu, stroke, cold, stroke, Covid, whatever it might be. Um, so first three days of the trip we've been coughing, barking and doing all that usual snotty stuff um, which yeah you didn't want to see that, it's not pleasant. So we've literally took it easy and stayed on a campsite um, and ended up, we stayed in Fort William for three nights just to see um, if we picked up. We didn't so we decided to come across to the Cairngorms because we just love the Cairngorms and there's plenty to do. Um, and we woke up this morning feeling quite alive, so we decided we'd dip a toe in, so to speak. So, from where we were, it was only a short walk up to this body, so we thought we'd give it a try, um, full kit, um, just to see how we got on. Um, I'm not going to lie, it was tiring, and so we're clearly not 100% yet, which probably telling the voice still a bit snotty. Um, but at least we tried it. Um, we're not too far away from a road if we needed to bail. So, yeah, it was the sensible choice rather than going into the wilderness. There's always another time for a trip. Um, sometimes you have to be sensible. Sometimes you have to be stupid. Um, depends how good you are at adulting to how good you do that. But always make sure you do weigh up the precautions. You don't want to have to rely on other people to rescue you, volunteer. They provide a great service but it is a service and it's it's free they're all volunteers don't take them away from this from the tea with the families just because you're being stupid 
Um, other than that, yeah, happy days. I've ranted a bit, I've talked a bit. I'm uh, gonna have a whiskey. Catch you later. filming tonight we've actually ended up with a couple of guests in the body um, Adam and Cameron uh, great couple of Scottish lads um, yeah so we've sat chatting with them all night they've just gone out to the tents um, so it is quite late so and anyone who lost the, watched the last video there was a couple of comments that said I should try hot chocolate with whiskey in it so I did try that tonight yeah, banging. Um, yeah, come back to you in the morning. Night, no, guys. Morning. Morning. So, yeah, great night last night. Didn't sleep too much. Um, but, yeah, good. Fire was still in this morning. Kept us rather warm. And outside the window, there was a sign um, talking about black grouse lecking, where they all dance and show off for each other. So, they were making a right noise this morning, <laughs> and we got to watch that for 20 minutes, had a coffee. Mm. So, we're going to walk back down to the lake that hopefully if the footage worked, you will have seen yesterday. Um, maybe have breakfast down there, then carry on, and uh, we'll come back to you later. <laughs> civilization so I'm probably going to leave it here but before we go I just want to take a moment to talk about jelly babies underrated and forgot epic they're just a burst of joy in your mouth in the morning um, give you energy what's not to love about a jelly baby right but yeah thanks for watching um, it's been an interesting one for us it's met new people First night in a bobby, just overall great. Um, 
if you've enjoyed the video like and subscribe obviously all that stuff helps um but yeah from me it's a goodbye and thanks for watching bye see you next time bye bye